everyone this is Ross in today's video we're going to be talking about cold hardy varieties of figs and there's only so many that I would um, I would say are bulletproof um, some that are really proven to do well in a zone 7 climate um, when you get down to 0 degrees Fahrenheit very few varieties will survive and it seems like these right here that I've labeled as bulletproof can do that and if they don't for whatever reason maybe they don't get through that zero degrees low or maybe there's a lot of wind in your location or a lot of desiccation um, they will fruit for you in that first year they're very early varieties and they're well adapted to the cold and well adapted to short season climates so I would recommend these for anybody growing in a cold climate or short season climate now this is my in-ground list right here um, and by the way you can find this spreadsheet the link is in the description of every video I've ever put out, so it's very easy to find. Uh, but these varieties here that are my in-ground trees, um, this is what I'm going to plant in the spring or already have in the ground. And I've gone through this list here, uh, you know, as much as I humanly possibly can. I've vetted this the most I can. Either I've already figured out that they're hardy and early, or I have very good information reliable information that they will become uh, very hardy or be very uh, reliable here in my climate. Um, things like Sultane is spoken about in um, by a lot of Frenchmen that it's quite hardy. It's about mid-season. It also holds up with the rain pretty well. Azores Dark being a similar fig to uh, Malta Black in Hardy Chicago should obviously do well. Black and Blue Celeste are very, very good choices here. There's Celeste heirlooms that have done well in the south that hold up well to the rain. Black Madeira KK I wouldn't recommend, but I think it's pretty similar to Figo Preto, which I do have in ground. And someone, um, someone, I'm actually going to dig it up in the spring, but I want to see how it gets through um, this winter time. But somebody in my area, only 20 minutes from me, has a Figo Preto tree in the ground that does well for them every year. Um, Campanieri is a new one that uh, a French grower describes as his hardiest or one of his hardiest figs that has survived, I think, I think he said negative 18 or negative 20 degrees Celsius. I'm, I can't recall right now off the top of my head. Colonel Littman's Black Cross, I don't know how hardy this is, but I do know that it is a, it's probably more of a mid-season Black Madeira. And if I can get an earlier Figo Preto, that's kind of why I'm replacing the Figo Preto uh, with Colonel Littman's Black Cross. Uh, Col Noir is from a French grower. Um, it's about a mid-season fig that looks like it's going to be quite rain resistant according to them. So I'm, I'm excited for that. Uh, Figo Jean is a fig that ripens uh, very, very early before Ronde de Bordeaux. So regardless, regardless if it's hardy for me, if it fruits very early, that's definitely one that's going to do well for me in my climate in the ground. Uh, Green Michurinska, I think it's semi-hardy, but the big thing about this is that it ripens uh, pretty soon after Floria does, which is Michurinska 10. So this is a relative of Floria or Michurinska 10, and it's doing, um, it's getting a lot of buzz uh, quite recently. Um, Hardy Chicago, again, this is a no-brainer. This is probably the undoubted biggest winner of them all. If you're going to grow any fig, in zone 6 or zone 5 or zone 4, this would be the fig. Some variant of Hardy Chicago that is hopefully adapted to the cold temperatures for years. And you can certainly find those um, in pretty cold places in the United States that people have been growing them there for years. Whether or not they've been hit, uh, hit by the cold every year and have died back, it, it doesn't really matter. They have slowly but surely adapted to that cold every single year. Improved Celeste is another big winner, extremely early and very rain resistant. Italian 258 is a mid, mid to late season fig that uh, doesn't hold up to the rain too well, but it does uh, produce a really nice crop of figs that are very tasty mid to late season. Um, a grower 20 minutes from me has a tree in ground that does very well for them. Little Ruby, this is a fig that grows very low to the ground, even horizontally. Um, for that, I think it has some innate 
uh, advantages, just that it can protect, it can get protection very easily that way. The figs also seem very early as well. Long the Out, this is a no-brainer. One of the most hardiest varieties out there, also very early. This one's extremely hardy. Uh, Malta Black, again, a no-brainer. Very early, very hardy. Uh, Marseille Black VS, this is a hardy Chicago type. Negretta is a wild fig that was found throughout Italy. Um, and you know what? It's an exceptional fig that does really well here, holds up to the rain. It is very hardy. Again, someone 20 minutes from me is growing this one with great success. Uh, this one's called Moro di Caneva. This is a very old, very, very old Italian variety that does um, very well in Italy and France. And you know what? It um, ha is showing great resistance to the cold in those areas. So I have high hopes for it here. It's also extremely early, probably around the same time as Ronde Bordeaux. Ronde Bordeaux, I consider my benchmark for very early figs. Um, Nero 600M, this is a uh, Violette de Bordeaux type that was found in Italy at an elevation of 600 meters. Therefore, people, a lot of people believe that this was quite hardy. It's not as hardy as people thought, but it is still a hardy tree nonetheless. Uh, Neruciola de Elba, this is from the island of Elba in Italy. Puts out very small, abundant figs very early in the season. Um, and they're quite rain resistant, if I recall. So I don't know how hardy this one is, but we'll see. Noir de Barbantane, this one, I don't know how hardy this one is either, but 20 minutes from me, the grower's having good success with it. This is a little bit earlier of a Black Madeira in my mind. So again, going with the same thought process of, of Colonel Littman's, uh, Noir de Barbantane should be two weeks earlier than Borges Soap Noir. And a very close rel relative of Borgia Sot Noir, Rojoto Nero. Uh, Pastelieri is a no brainer. This is undoubtedly one of the best choices we can have here in the ground in my zone 7 climate. Very early, very hardy. Uh, it does have a little bit of trouble with the rain, but if you can get this fig to ripen in August, uh, you won't have trouble with rain because it doesn't rain nearly as much in my climate at that point. Ronde Bordeaux, again, uh, exceptional, but it definitely struggles a little bit with the rain very early um, it is hardy but not as hardy as most people think Simon unknown this is an unknown that comes from my friend in Virginia that originates in um, the Middle East so it's pretty cool that this one was found in a very mountainous very cold region in the Middle East and therefore it is adapted to the cold very well it puts out early figs and it puts out two figs at every single node. So very productive, very early and very hardy. Smith from Just Fruits and Exotics, this is a bit of a, uh, a stretch for me. I have a friend on our figs that has shown good success when uh, their winter this year went down to about 10 or 11 degrees Fahrenheit. So I don't know how much success I'll have with this one in the ground, but it is a mid-season variety. So I, I may have good success I may be wasting my time, I don't know, but we'll see. Um, it's not supposed to be the very hardiest variety, but if he's having good success at 10 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe I can as well if I uh, spray it with wilt proof, give it a little bit of a better microclimate. I could probably get this one through the winter time, that's my guess. Uh, St. Martin is one that is uh, believed to be hardy down all the way to negative 20, I think, negative, maybe even negative 25 degrees Celsius, which is absurd, but it's a it's a later season fig, I believe. So if you don't have the season for it, uh, it may not work for you in the ground. Uh, Taramo Unknown, you know, same thing. This one was found in Maryland, bulletproof variety that is very hardy and very early. One of the earliest figs out there. Uh, Texas BA number one. This is very similar to Smith, and people believe it's the same, but it's not. I have it on good authority from two different growers that have been growing this fig side by side to Smith for years. They are not the same. Um, and Texas BA1, even according to ediblelandscaping.com, is actually quite hardy in zone 7. You just have to protect it from the wind. So I'm trialing this one for sure in my zone 7 climate. Give it that added protection. I'm sure it'll be all right. Uh, Vertolino here. This one, I don't know how hardy this is, but it's a very early, small fig. Kind of similar in shape and size to, not, not size, but shape to 
uh, maybe like a Celeste, but also similar to Long D Out. It has like that elongated kind of teardrop sh uh, shape to it, but it's a, it's a smaller fig and it's green, red interior, very early. Um, definitely interested to, to see how it does in the ground. White Madeira number one was actually found in Maryland. So uh, the mother tree's in Maryland. The mother tree's now dead, but um, this tree has been there, was there for a long time and has certainly adapted there and is actually quite hardy. The problem is that it's a little bit late in the season for me. So things like uh, Sultane, St. Martin, White Madeira number one, even Zafiro, we're not really sure. You know, even Noir de Barbantine, we're not really sure how well they're going to perform in the ground, but um, you know, they should be early enough to give me a crop probably by September is my guess. So that's the goal with these. Um, Zafiro, you know, again, I don't really know a whole lot about this fig other than it performs exceptionally well in the rain for me. And it seems like it's early to mid season. I can't guarantee that. And I can't, um, I can't definitely say that for sure, but those are my thought processes. My notable mentions here, um, this is a list of figs that are certainly cold hardy, but they are figs that I will not grow in the ground. Um, I may grow gallo in the ground at some point here, or maybe, I, I shouldn't say I won't, I will never grow them in the ground, but um, you know, LSU Holier was one that I was really strongly considering. Um, Gayette is probably a really great choice. The Dalmati types are probably a really good choice. Southern Brown Turkey is a really great choice. Violette de Bordeaux, I already have one of those in the ground. Uh, Noir de Boulogne is another one that I would very strongly consider putting, I am considering putting it in the ground. Brandon Street Unknown, I would very strongly consider. But a couple of these other ones, they are certainly very hardy, like White Marseille. It's just that some of them I don't like the figs. They don't ripen early enough or they are not rain resistant enough for me and therefore they're in this notable mention category. A very uh, prime example is the Adriatic types. Just like White Madeira number one, it is an Adriatic type. You know, Strawberry Verte, uh, Strawberry, Green Aishia, Verte, JH Adriatic, Battaglia Green, Rockaway Green. You know, they're all a, they're all a similar flavor uh, group there and they're all probably somewhat related, but uh, they're all quite late in the season, and some of them are, are more rain resistant than others, but overall as a group, they're not very rain resistant and they're not very uh, early. So as a result, I don't, I'm not gonna put many of these in the ground. The only one I will try this year is White Madeira number one and give this one a shot because it has such a high reputation for flavor. Atriano are, these types are really hardy, like White Triana. Like Laterola and Linhurst White, I think they were found in New Jersey and they're very similar. You know, Brooklyn White you can also put in this category and Brooklyn White was found in Brooklyn. So they're very hardy figs. It's just that for me to like them and enjoy them, they need to ripen for a long time. And if they're hanging on the tree on an in-ground tree for 10 plus days, you know, that's a problem because uh, by that time within the 10 day stretch there, it's probably gonna be too much water you know, at some point we're going to get some rain. Whereas I feel a bit more comfortable if I had these kind of tight, these kind of figs in pots. Because if I had them in pots, I can definitely control the water a lot more than I could in the ground. So because of that, I'm a bit skeptical and and uh, a bit, uh, you know, kind of against putting these guys in the ground. Um, Black Mission types, the same thing. They they do really well in the ground. They're actually rain resistant, mid season. But uh, they're not the best figs, right? So these guys here can definitely work, but I have slight issues with them and slight things that I, I need to kind of work out with myself and other people that I know that are growing them. So um, I can't fully endorse them or really, really recommend them. The only ones I can really fully endorse are these right here. So uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope this really helps people out because you guys have been asking me for a long time what my in-ground trees list is and and what is cold hardy um this is it you know and you can go in and hear into my figs this is the list of all the figs i grow and you can see which of these i grow in the ground you can see here campaneri in ground right so you'll be able to see this if for whatever reason um this list here changes 
Uh, this will certainly be adjusted. This my figs list here will be adjusted come spring as soon as everything's in the ground. I do a nice little head count. Uh, but this here is, a, a, is, as of right now, a bit out of date. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this one. Again, take care. I hope everyone uh, got something out of this. All right, talk to you later.